Hello friends, happy Friday, congratulations, you've made it to the end of the week, but now it is time to take a look at this week's Freaky Friday Daily Contest. It is the reverse round 2009, kicking it off with Woodland Farm 18. Uh, for some reason, every time we kick things off with Woodland 18, they love, love oh love, to give us a difficult set. Although this one is not too bad, pin is in the top right. As we look at it, you have to be careful. There is some rough that may save you if you hit it too hard, but you're gonna have to be pretty precise. Uh, I'm hoping that somebody will get shot of the week with not that shot that's going in the water, but a shot off of the roof. I'll be more than happy to throw a $50 gift card to somebody if <clears throat> they ace today's kickoff hole on Freaky Friday off of the roof. If you happen to do that, send that to SOTW at itsgames.com and we will make sure that you get taken care of all right hole two this is number 17 of sunnywood a lengthy par five although short in yardage lengthy because there's not a lot of options here except to just punch it out into the fairway get creative you're definitely going to need an eight wood for this hole and if you hit a shot better than that, uh, you may have a chance at Eagle. But look at that. Beautiful roller coasters in the background. I don't know if you can think of a better way to celebrate a Friday afternoon. Uh, hopefully you're somewhere warm because Chicago is on this really weird. It just snowed all day yesterday, although none of it, none of it sticked. And it won't go over 40 degrees anymore. Kick. That's okay. Of course, hole number three is a number 16 of one of the more favorite golden tee courses of all time, Bonnie Moore. Really nice setup here, even though it's 642 off of the tee. You don't have to worry about the sand uh, traps and the rocks. You can just punch it out to that fairway. And then it is down 10, so you have to be careful when, you, um, when you're when you spinning that back. Backspin is going to be obviously your favor here. Don't hit it too far because you will, well, your ball's not going to come back because of that down 10. You may have a left 10 or right 10 putt to take care of, but if you get close enough, you don't have to worry about that. Number four, Black Hills 15. Good old design a hole winner from 2008. This is another course uh, that I feel like the last couple times we've had this hole in Freaky Friday, they haven't really given us a lot of good looks, but that's okay. The nice thing here is that as long as you get past that uh, waterfall, the shadow-tastic waterfall, I didn't get lucky with it, but you can hit, if maybe if you hit a three wood instead of a ten and a half driver, you can actually bounce it off of that rock. I'm sure somebody will get a nice hole in one accidentally that way. Would love to see that as well. Hole number five, Grand Savannah 14. Of course, we had to throw in a couple of the tough ones. This is actually pretty tough because this is also 642, like the body more hole. The only problem is we are in the far back tee box. So it's going to require a power shot to get over into this area. Now, you got to be careful because you don't want to hit those trees or have those trees come into play. <clears throat> Heavy rough galore. So hopefully you've been working your palms out, which I clearly have not been, because if you get stuck short, you hit the dirt, and then you are trying to play catch up to get an eagle. Last couple of videos I've done, clearly I have not played well, but that's okay. It's part of the gig. Again, I'm going to blame the cold. I probably need to change this trackball. It's been in here a little while. Uh, that'll be my next set of excuses. Hole six, buy more number 13. This is a fun par three because there are so many tee boxes. This one, we have to deal with a right slope <clears throat> as well as a right seven wind. So honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one click left. I'm just going to push an eight iron very straight with bite. As long as you avoid the sand traps, which I may not. Nope, definitely not avoiding the sand traps there. Uh, if you avoid the sand traps, you can use the fringe. Ugh, this is not going to be pretty, folks. You can use the fringe 
and that right 12 to potentially roll down into the cup. Now, I'm going to bogey because why wouldn't I do anything better? But it's early in the morning while I'm recording this video preview for you guys. This is exactly what you're going to see when you head to your favorite watering hole, goldentea.com slash locations to find a 2021 or PGA Tour game near you. You may be asking yourself, why are you hitting it into the mud? Well, because you can get out of the mud with the right set of clubs. So I'm going to take a five wood. Now you're of course going to lose backspin, so you might want to aim a little bit closer at the hole than I did. Can we make it? Nope. I was going to say, can we make it in for eagle? Absolutely not. Eagle apparently is not something that we can achieve here, but that's okay. Shout out to the PJ Tour machine cup holders that are right next to me. Quick PSA. Because it's come up. Uh, and I gotta be honest, I'm not sure why. So, Bonnie Moore, number 11, which is hole eight, it is a drivable par four, hole eight in today's contest. There are two greens here. One that is clearly marked with the flag down here. Boom. There are times where the pin will load down here. Now, a couple of complaints have come in because people are literally going all the way over here to lay up to then cross the water and they're getting and we're getting complaints that people are landing on there and they're set up to putt because technically if you hit this area it's recognized as a green for the game so you're going to have like a million yard putt quick little tip if the pin is here why please please do not go over here to lay up to then hit it over the water because uh i've done that before and it doesn't work well but also why would you lay up over here to give yourself a farther shot then when you could just lay up in the fairway here, don't cross water because if you watch enough of my videos, clearly water does not go well with golf and your golf ball. So quick PSA there. Hopefully this goes in. Oh, the only chance we had at a hole one so far, but fingers crossed. Actually got an eagle today. Apologize if you heard that. All right, number nine, it is Sunny Wood, number 10. Fun little par three here, of course. Golden Tee Gods are not my friends lately. They've got us tucked up in the left hand corner. Just going to throw a soft eye of wood. Probably could use Bite there instead of Backspin. But we're on the fringe, putting in for Birdie. Uh, seven after nine, with a mix of par threes par fives and drivable par fours not the score you're looking for but that's okay hole number 10 of course you knew it was coming woodland farm number nine beautiful opportunity here to safely bounce it off of a pig or a uh, cow into the hole uh, a little bit longer of a look at 353 so i'm going to recommend you take your three wood or ten and a half degree driver high tee that bad boy Probably hit it harder than 121, maybe 130. My uh, my power is all over the place lately. I'm not consistent on it, but hopefully you are. Number 11, Black Hills finally makes its uh, debut, at least a drivable. Hole number eight. This is actually a fun one because you don't have to really worry about the rocks. I went down to a five wood because I wanted to high tee it and just punch it. Probably didn't need to hit it that hard. Like I was just saying, my power is all over the place. <clears throat> Grand Savannah number seven, of course. This offset par three, always one of my favorites. Always seems to show up in closest to the pin but I wanted to have it here as well. <clears throat> right six green, offset pin to the left, 10 mile an hour wind to the left also sets up. Um, thumbers, I feel like we'll rejoice there. And then hole 13, this is Woodland Farm number six. This is actually a beautiful, beautiful setup. I wanted you to be able to high tee a five wood. 
just punch it right over those trees. I, again, I probably hit it way too friggin' hard because I don't know my own strength, apparently. Don't go water. Woo! But, no... Well... Oh, look at that. We made a chip. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All is good in the world, apparently, because I can somewhat chip still. As long as you don't... Uh, as long as you don't overhit that shot like I did, uh, I assume we're going to probably see quite a few home ones there on that Bonnie Moore hole. Now, this, or excuse me, on that Woodland Farm hole, this is Bonnie Moore number five. This is a fun par five. Bonnie Moore is an interesting one because you don't see too many back-to-back -back par fives, but here on Bonnie Moore, you do look at that. <clears throat> he gets excited over the double eagle as if 16 under going into... Hole 15 means much, but got to take those those shots, those good shots while you can get them. Board board looked just a little bit better, but that's okay. Number 15, Sunny Wood, number four. They're giving us all the 600 yard plus looks. Oh, that's going to the water, probably. Not the water, but, well, that might actually be okay. This may be one of the only shots I recommend that you actually follow today. You're pro I'm probably going to be chipping, but honestly, if you get stuck in the rough, it's not the end of the world there. It's just not ideal. It's also tough because of the way that um, those fairways are set up. You're going to have to probably come in at an offset angle with a excuse me, a wood of choice. All right, Bonnie Moore, number three, hole 16, up four, 11 mile an hour wind, ball to the right, so I'm using the three hybrid with roll. Uh, forever and always, I will under hit this shot no matter what I do. Actually, a little bit closer to the pin than I thought I would be, but you got to be careful because those are some deep bunkers for what is ultimately a hole three. Now, thank you to the Golden Tee Gods, although I love this tiny little rectangle of a tee box. But, hole two, Black Hills, number 17, sometimes drivable, and thankfully it is drivable today. Probably not a look you're going to see a lot of hole-in-ones on, unless I do it right here. Oh, that would have been nice. But... Another opportunity, Eagle, to shoot a way, way, way better score than me. Now, unless I screw up hole one of Grand Savannah, that is our number 18 today, I'll actually shoot over 20, which is kind of hilarious. Unfortunately, the 2009 courses don't really have any drivable holes on one, so we had to go with Grand Savannah. But I'm kind of glad I did because you get a 14 mile an hour win here because this is hole 18. Not something you'll ever see as a hole one. <clears throat> now, I am using grabbers, but it's going to put me 74, uh, 74 yards away <clears throat> from the pin. That was a weird stop. But for the much, 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 much better players than me out there, good opportunity to end with another eagle at your disposal. So, <clears throat> back nine, much, much better than the front nine, but we won't talk about that anymore. GoldenT.com slash locations to find a game near you. $2,150 in today's prize pool. Play as many times as you want before the day is over and see if you can hit that leaderboard. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you're checking out GoldenTea.com and Golden Tea on social media for our final brand new Golden Tea 2022 course trailer. We'll see you guys next time.